Let's let's try to talk to Grundle really quick. Hi, Grundle. Oh, you big bows, you make good dinner for Grundle. Well, I'm sorry, Grundle. I need to use this serum on you. You gain a thousand XP for using the butogenic serum. That does nothing. Come on, team. Help me out. Uh-oh. Does it still work? Is he gonna melt? I used the mutagenic serum on him. It's the remains of Grendel. So he is dead. <laughs> it glitched out a little bit. Let's reload. I hit the right button that time. Um, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you use the serum on him. Without. <sighs> Freaking pig rats, man. Okay. I said I'm gonna use the serum on Grundle. <laughs> We already know what would happen with it, though, because we were traveling with Marcus and we use it on him just for funsies. So we use Doc Henry's serum. Grendel had had some had some knuckles on him, some spike knuckles. No need for those anymore. No, no, no. So now that we've done that, we can go back to Doc Henry and get our first Cyberdog companion. How about that? How about that? I just realized ooh, once we get to the Sierra Army Depot, we're going to have to use our science skill to um, unlock progressively higher quality brains. And that's very similar to how the Rex situation goes. A little similar to the Rex situation in Fallout New Vegas, where you have to find a new brain. And Doc Henry, of course, is the one that helps you out with this. Um, but you have an option of three brains, and that determines that helps determine the 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 trait of Rex after that point. Um, I think I always go with the the aggressive um, Legion. Legion dog brain. I remember its its effect being cool. I don't remember what they were off the top of my head though. Okay, we got one more BC back here. Come here. Get out of that elevator. It's out of order. For now. Lucky for you. Well, you're dead now. <laughs> Lucky for me. I'm the maintenance man today. I'm really excited to do the Sierra Army Depot stuff. We're getting closer because <laughs> I checked back again and uh, it, it, it has a pretty hefty penalty on the skill check, but you need like 120 science. Um, and you may not realize that um, after a skill reaches 101 or one, it's either 101 or 102, I think. After that point, um, the cost is doubled for for increasing further. I think we already went over this when I was leveling unarmed, because um, even though it is tagged, so I'm getting double points, it still costs me two each level up, see? Oh, at this point it's costing me three. Which is really high. <laughs> That's too much. Don't want to do that. Anyway, we have two Dean's Electronics we can read. Uh, our current repair skill is 55. So let's see how, how much we can raise it by reading two of these books. There's a reason that these were placed on the map somewhere. 63. Not bad. So we'll be at about 83, I believe, if we're using the tool to repair this generator here. Looks very badly damaged. You think you, think you might be able to repair this. 
That's a good sound. Almost had it. Just a little bit more. You successfully repaired the d d power generator. Yay. We did it. Excellent. Just what I wanted. All right. This is going to this is going to lead us into one of the toughest one of the tougher fights in the game, too. I'll sh I'll show you. I'll show you what makes it tough, too. Mar Mariposa still has some evil lurking within. Go up to level two. Grundle only prepared us a little bit. <laughs> now, wait a gosh dang second. Didn't I come through here as the Vault 13, the Vault Dweller, the Vault 13 man, the Vault Dweller, and not only have my game crash, but also murder all these super mutants? Well, maybe I did, but they're all here again. So... This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I don't know if I want to even fight all of these ones in the main room. Let's get to this corpse. Ooh! Ooh, he had a plasma pistol. Glock 86 plasma pistol designed by Gaston Glock AI. Shoots a small bolt of superheated plasma powered by a small energy cell. Minimum strength of four. Okay. So this group in here, I'll probably be able to take out. I say probably. Because I'm fast. I'm so quick. So quick on the draw. Gosh dang arthritis. Gotta keep making those saves. We open the door. Oops. I said open the door. Hi! Oh, you have big weapons. I'm gonna punch you where where your body doesn't work right anymore. Sorry, Mutie. You call that pain? I laugh. It, that I'm pretty sure that's pain. You're almost dead. That is pain. Bye. Oh no, <laughs> I alerted the other ones. Nice. That one sounded like a, like a tomato was being squished that time. I think these ones have flamers. That's not a flamer, that's a plasma rifle. I need to give that to Marcus ASAP. That is doing so much damage to me. Ow. <laughs> Uh, yep, there's the flamer. There it is. Through the fire and the flames. Dragon Force would be proud. I'm still alive. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I will kill this one. I gotta start, I gotta start focusing. Super Mutant was critically hit in the eyes for 74 hit points. The eyes of the mutant glow for a moment, and then the light fades permanently. That sounds pretty sick. And then I'll go to punch this one in the head. See if I can get a knockout. Nope. But this one's out of line of sight now, so it's actually going to have to run towards me. But I am going to heal. I need to heal. I think this is another time where I should probably use a dose of Psycho. So we can get through this. <laughs> Without me dying a horrible death. It is normal damage resistance, though. So, like, that that was a big jump. That was a nice big jump. I'm at 90%. So six off and then 90% off of whatever's left. I'm not going to take much damage from physical attacks. But they're using a lot of energy stuff. It may still help. I don't know. Come over here, sailor. I have something for you. When I fight, I kill. Yeah, because I, I got hit for 29 still. By the flamer guy. No, Marcus! No! Don't chase after them. Please suck. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> uh, Let's go for arm cripples. Or miss. Right on for 15. And critically hitting the right arm for 58 hit points, striking a nerve and forcing the giant to grab his arm in pain. Okay, that looks like... That looks like a cripple to me. Okay, cool. 
That one's useless now. I'm now on a time limit because Marcus is f quickly approaching the other super mutants. Marcus, I know they're your former brethren, but holy crap, slow down, please. End combat. Oh god, end combat. End co uh, <laughs> Marcus, no! Don't! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Oh no. If I go for a dead sprint, I can probably make it back to the elevator before Marcus decides to be a piece of crap and ignore my orders. I need to shove Cassidy out of the way. There we go. Oh my goodness, Marcus, you're gonna die. <laughs> I don't want you to die. Feet, hands, head, all going in your butt. <laughs> I like the threat, Marcus. Are they ignoring him? It seemed like they're ignoring him. Oh, now he's alerted those ones. Oh, good. Good, good, great. <laughs> Marcus is dead. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have seen that too. It was 20, 271 hit points of damage. We'll try it again. This time. What do you want? Marcus. I'm gonna mess with your combat control again. I need you to attack the closest. Because that is unacceptable. What you just did. Just sprinting away as if you knew what was going on in the next room. Unacceptable. So here we go. Open the door. Come on over. Punch in the groin. <laughs> Walter Mar Marinkovic, I hope I said that right, has a question asking, how do you feel about Vault 13 GURPS? They had like 90 skills cut to 19, question mark. Um, I, I had to look this up to, to uh, like, I know the Fallout system was based off of GURPS, but due to legal reasons, they couldn't use the GURPS system. Um, but there's surprisingly a lot in the Fallout wiki about this, and um, I think it would have been a nightmare for both players and developers <laughs> to, to implement that many skills and things. They had the advantages and disadvantages, which is like traits too, um, as well as quirks, like so much stuff. Um, just for character building. I have no idea how somebody could build a game around that unless it was an actual tabletop RPG like Dungeons and Dragons. I'm, yeah, I, I'm glad it turned, I'm kind of glad it turned out the way it did because that is so much to manage. So that's that's my face value uh, feeling on it. Uh, there's a lot of paragraphs in here about like the the legal issues that, that um, they got into with the, the person who made the GURP system too, but that's more than I feel like diving into right now, so. Thank you for the question. It was enlightening. Flamethrower really hurts. I almost think I need quick pockets at this point for for perk decisions. If we're if we're talking about pain, what have you done? I murdered you. Whoops, that was the <laughs> that was the tutorial thingy. I don't need that. I need to go this way. Team, follow me, please. Nope, they're going after... Mm, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, all right. So we've got some flamer users here. What do you want? That's Marcus. I don't want to give you the thing just yet. The whip, the weapon. Um, I'm gonna loot this one. Yeah, there it is. I can't carry this much. Uh, give it? No. Nope. Give it now? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll trade this to Marcus. So this is the plasma right. I should look at it first, huh? Show it off to you guys. The Winchester model P94 plasma rifle, an industrial grade energy weapon firing superheated bolts of plasma 
down a superconducting barrel powered by microfusion cells. Okay, we're gonna what do you want? hand this over to Marcus. You got a new toy, buddy. You got a new toy. May you melt many a mutant with this uh, massive maimer. Meme? Massive meme. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay, there we go. We'll put the microfusion cells on him too. That rifle just happened to be really, really heavy. And I'll also take the laser rifle off of him and give it to Cassidy in case he chooses to use it. I hope he doesn't. Oh, we did see another another plasma pistol. Interesting. I did not realize. Did I already read this chip? Pointing down the okay. We've already looked at that. Looked at that chip. There's so many cases of rockets in here. Man. So many cases. Can I rest downstairs? Can I do that? The closest soup mutant is right there. It's nice not to worry about the about the, the force fields again, too. But we're gonna have to worry about that when we get to uh, see our army depot anyway. Um, just a, a natural evolution of the force field game. So we'll head up here. Hopefully the mutant will not see me. Not this time. Because instead of wasting all of my medical supplies, even though I have so many stim snacks at this point, I'm going to rest until healed. Okay. Because utilize, you got to utilize what you have so you don't use up the stuff that you need in a clutch situation. Does that make sense? So we're back up to floor two. So this... This mutant right here. It's a weird situation they put me in. This... Ooh. <laughs> there was pieces of an Enclave soldier there. And that was holodex number two. So what do we have so far? So we have, we have a few of them already. So let's read them so far. Military base outside. Two, CHQ. Our team of scientists has finished testing the sample obtained from the base. It has been confirmed as 99% pure. You can expect the sample to arrive shortly. As expected, the worker population has mutated rapidly once exposed to the pure source. Heavy, but acceptable losses are reported. I've ordered the evacuation of the base. As soon as the last person is out, we'll blow the entrance to the base and seal the problems in. Colonel Sanders. That's funny, Colonel Sanders. So many references here. Military base level one. This is Captain Picard reporting at checkpoint one. Contact with checkpoints two and three have been cut off. We can only assume the worst. The monsters are swarming up the mine shafts. All efforts to delay them have failed. We try to hold them off at this position as long as we can. Military base level two. Checkpoint three is under attack. We have shut down the mine elevators as a precaution, but I can hear them coming up the mine shaft. Holy crap, huge, ugly, green creatures are climbing out of the lower levels. This must be what the brass is after, some kind of super soldier. As fast as we shoot them, two more climb out of the mine shaft. And the ones we shoot get up and keep coming at us. We need reinforce. That's the one that exploded. <laughs> okay, so we've got some context. Um, Enclave, we're carrying on the FEV experiment um, at Mariposa after the master's demise. I'm just going to initiate combat, but I'm going to be sneaking because I want to assassinate as many as I can. I missed. Ow. What are you? What? Cassidy? What are you doing? Cassidy, why'd you put your weapon away? Cassidy, why are you standing behind me? Okay, well, Marcus melted one. Good, good, good. I'm going to have to start punching some arms. Is it crippled? Grab his arm in pain. He's crippled. Eyes. And groin. 
<laughs> Three punches. Arm, eyes, and groin. Beautiful. A special thanks to those supporting me on Patreon, including Wasteland Legends Sven and David Hoover. You can catch future episodes of this playthrough on Wednesdays and Fridays, noon and 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks so very much for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.